Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Xbox hack update. It's been a while since I've done one of these and there's quite a few things to talk about here, quite a few developments. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into it here. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this hack or you've not been uh, kind of kept in the loop, I have made a few previous videos. I'll leave them linked down in the description and in the cards. But just to quickly recap, there is a new hack coming for Xbox One and series consoles, a user mode slash kernel exploits in system OS. It doesn't create a full jailbreak, but at the very least, it should allow us to get dev mode functionality on retail mode and hopefully a little bit more than that too as time goes on. So, so far, I made a video showing you how to get your Xbox set up before Microsoft uh, implements an update or does something to prevent you from actually running this exploit when it comes out. Well, that's already happened because Microsoft have actually pulled the game script app from the store which is the application that you need to use to run the exploit. So if you don't already have your Xbox set up at this point, it's already too late. However, it doesn't look like so far they've actually patched the vulnerability, the kernel vulnerability in any of their updates. So the update that was known to be vulnerable was the May update 10.0.25398.4478. So those last four digits, 4478, if you're on that firmware, you should be good. Microsoft also pushed out a June update, uh, which pushes the version number up to 4908. And that has also been confirmed to still be vulnerable. And since then, they've also pushed out another small update, which increments the version number to 4909. And apparently so far, at least we've had one person that has tested it on that system version, and it appears that they're still vulnerable. Now, you can't actually check to see if your OS version is vulnerable using the original POC script because that original POC script is just the user portion of the exploit and it doesn't tell you if Microsoft have patched the kernel portion of the exploit. As the developer Emma states here on X, she says that just to clear up a misconception, the game script POC does not indicate the presence of the kernel vulnerability. The POC simply shows mapping and executing new user mode code if you update and see the game script POC still works, that does not mean that the full exploit will. So yeah, just because you can, you know, run the game script POC and it says 1337, you get that message, does not mean that your OS version is vulnerable to the full exploit. Unless, of course, you are you know that you're on 4478, 4908 and possibly, hopefully, 4909. So what the developer Emma released is a new POC that will actually test the kernel portion of the vulnerability. So with this new one, if you run this one and it works, then that does mean that your OS version is definitely vulnerable. So I would definitely recommend, you know, replacing the original POC script with this new version to see if it works. Now, as uh, the developer states here, people have been asking if the exploit will work on 4909. I don't actually know because I don't have any consoles on that version. But if you have a console on 4909 and would like to test, you can run this proof of concept. So there was one person who did test on 4909 and it seemed to work. The way that you know if it's going to work or not is if your Xbox crashes when you try to run uh, the POC script. That's what should happen after about 30 seconds to a minute. It should crash your Xbox. If it does not crash your Xbox, obviously make sure you have you know the code entered properly um, but if it doesn't crash your xbox and it gives you a message that says it's likely been patched then you'll know at that point that whatever os version you're on is not compatible and microsoft have probably fixed it at that point but at least for the updates that have been released so far it appears that they have not patched the vulnerability but they have removed the game script app from the store so if you don't already have it you are too late to get things set up for this exploit unless another method of getting the game script app on your Xbox is found. So yeah, that's the kind of situation we're in at the moment. So if you want to run the new POC, all you have to do is open up your game script app, delete all of the previous code from the old POC. The easiest way to do that is to plug in a USB keyboard and then just do control A and backspace to get rid of all the previous text that's in there. And then you can just copy the new POC script using uh, you know, Notepad T, or you can use a rubber ducky or Raspberry Pi Pico to inject the new updated code into the game script app. There is also another method that uh, somebody emailed me about for copying the code, another solution using the Edge browser on the Xbox, uh, which is another good solution if you don't have the Notepad T application or the Advanced File Explorer app that has full trust enabled. If you don't have those applications and you don't have a rubber ducky that you can use to inject the code, 
then instead you can use this other method. So this method requires an Android device and what you need to do is download the POC from the GitHub on your Android device. So just go on the site, download it as a zip file and then extract it to your Android device. You also want to download an app from the App Store called the WebShare app and get that downloaded. Once you have that installed, we're then going to disable any network connectivity on the Android device, disable mobile data, disable your uh, Wi-Fi, and then enable a mobile hotspot. And once you have the mobile hotspot set up, you can then connect to it on the Xbox. And because you'll have all of the network disabled on the Android device, the Xbox will not be able to get a connection to the internet, so Xbox Live will still be blocked. However, you will be able to access the local network of the Android device to access uh, the POC script. So all we're going to do is get connected up there. And once we're connected on the Xbox, we can then run the WebShare application and select the file, the POC script that we downloaded as the file that we want to send over the network. And then we can just enable the WebShare application. And then it will give you an IP address and port number there that you can access on the Edge browser on the Xbox. So you just want to open up the Edge browser on your Xbox and then go to that IP address that showed up on your Android device with the port number 1111. And then if we go there, we'll be able to access the file that is on that web share. And from there, we can then select it, open a new tab, and we can then just copy all of the code that's in there. So just highlight all of the code in the Edge browser from start to finish and then you'll have the option to copy that code. And once you have the code copied, you can then switch back over to the game script application to use the option to paste that code into the game script app. And then that is another way that you can copy the code. Again, you can use your Rubber Ducky, uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. You can use the Notepad T application uh, by opening the file from a USB. There's lots of different ways, but if you don't have those other methods, this is actually a good alternative because all Xboxes should have the Edge browser installed and you should be able to do this. So again, this is not going to print out anything onto the console if it works successfully. If your console is vulnerable, what it should do after about 30 seconds to a minute is after running it, it should crash your Xbox. So the Xbox should just crash and then it will reboot automatically. And you'll notice that when it reboots, it will be stuck on the Xbox logo for quite a bit of time, probably because it's doing some kind of, you know, check to make sure everything's okay after it detected an improper shutdown. So it will take a bit longer to actually boot after the crash, but it should still boot you back into the dashboard. And that's how you know that the POC script is still working on your OS version and that your console is actually vulnerable to this kernel vulnerability if it crashes your Xbox. So according to the developer, things are still on track for getting this out sometime in the first half of July. So within the next couple of weeks, we should hopefully see this. And a few weeks ago, the developer also talked about another vulnerability relaying some additional information for people interested in using the technique described in this blog post. I was told to relay the following information. Warhammer, Vermintide 2, any edition, digital or disc based, and Dark Tide might also work, but is series exclusive. So this refers to this other exploit from back in May that was talked about here on the Xbox One research site. So in here, it's basically talking about how you can dump a game using a vulnerability that you can trigger from another game like Warhammer, Vermintide 2. So yeah, if you want to, you know, look into this, this is something that can be done here. You can actually dump the game files. Now, when this was posted back in the middle of May, it wasn't known what game to buy to actually do this, but that has now been revealed. So we know that it's Warhammer Vermintide 2. So that would be the one to get since supposedly any edition is compatible. Uh, so you can get any edition, digital or disc or digital deluxe edition, doesn't really matter apparently. So as long as you get the game, you can use it to trigger this other vulnerability to dump game files. Now it's not the most convenient solution because apparently you can't dump to USB devices. So it has to be sent. The data needs to be sent over sockets. So you're basically sending them over the network through sockets to dump a game, uh, which probably isn't the, you know, the fastest um, or most reliable solution, but that's the way that you have to do it at the moment. If you go ahead and grab yourself that game, 
then you may be able to, you know, dump some of your retail games in the future. So those are the updates at the moment with the Xbox One hack. Again, hopefully sometime in the first half of July, we will see the full exploit release. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.